in the last video we talked about the solar spectrum and um, now what we'll have a look at is what is the solar radiation on earth's surface and uh, what we'll introduce is the uh, air mass um, as the value or the representation of the solar spectrum on the surface so what we are have talked about is let's think about this is the surface of earth where we can install our pv system then we have here our atmosphere then we have the solar radiation we have talked about um about this in, in the last video with the solar constant so the power or the specific power of the uh, solar radiation with 1361 watts per square meter um, and now what what is happening if we have here at, our, at the ground our PV system let's add a PV module what is happening of course the photon the radiation must transmit through the atmosphere and then of course the the radiation is absorbed within the radiation and what we uh, define is that the air mass here at the outer part or the upper part of the atmosphere we call it air mass zero because there has been no absorption of radiation in the atmosphere and then if this radiation passes the atmosphere uh, and reaches uh, the ground um, so then the radiation is passed one times uh, the height or the distance of the of the atmosphere, and uh, of course in this case the radiation has been absorbed. We call this air mass one because or the one represents that the length of this uh, absorption or the absorption length is one times the atmosphere. What is happening with the uh, with the spectrum? You can see this here in this diagram uh, we've already talked about this orange curve this black body a curve of a perfect uh, black body in the thermal equilibrium or the emission of a black body then in blue this uh, is the spectrum of the sunlight without any absorption and then in green you see this is the absorption or the spectrum of the sunlight at sea level you see on the one hand of course it has the, the intensity has dropped from uh, higher values to smaller ones then you see some absorption bands of due to the absorption of molecules in particular this uh, h2o so water or vapor in the atmosphere oxygen uh, ozone carbon dioxide here at the higher wavelength values is absorbing uh, the sunlight and this blue uh, curve represents the the sunlight at the sea level and the irradiance, so the strength of the sunlight um, at the sea level. So where does this absorption come from? If you go back to our uh, figure, you see here uh, this radiation passing the atmosphere and uh, passing the atmosphere one time. So the height of the atmosphere one time, we call this air mass of one. Of course, this is only occurring if the sun um, elevation angle of sun's elevation angle is perpendicular to the surface. So, uh, if we add our elevation angle, gamma, uh, you see if, if gamma is 90 degrees, uh, then this represents an air mass of, of one. Um, this is occurring, of course, only close to the equator on Earth. And on other locations on Earth, there are different conditions. Um, let's have a first look at uh, the situation in, in Central Europe, uh, like in, in Berlin. So what is the uh, position of the sun um, in summertime, wintertime? So uh, in summertime at noon, this elevation angle gamma. Uh, so we have here the sun. Um, this very high angle is occurring in summertime, so the 21st of uh, June and this is an elevation angle gamma of uh, 60.8 degrees so that's the highest elevation angle of the Sun in Germany and you see of course in this case the length um, 
of the radiation or the radiation has to pass is, is even longer compared to a perpendicular position. Um, and uh, in this case, uh, the air mass will have a look at why where this comes from is 1.14. Um, so it's 50% well, longer distance the radiation has to pass. Um, so let's pick this value up or write this down, 60.8. This is an air mass of 1.15. Um, and uh, for example, in winter time, the highest elevation angle in, in Berlin at, at noon is uh, rather small. You just have this angle here, this gamma, uh, is just uh, 14.1 degrees. Um, so rather a small elevation angle. And so the length is, is rather large, uh, passing through the atmosphere. And this represents an air mass of, of four. This is the occurring at the 22nd of uh, December. And of course, all the other positions between these two extreme positions uh, at noon, um, well, the elevation angle varies between these values. Um, and uh, of course, then the absorption changes. The longer the way uh, to pass, if uh, the smaller the, the the larger the atmospheric absorption is, and uh, the smaller the power we get at our solar system here at the bottom uh, gets. So what we can now do is we can derive um, the dependency of this uh, angle, elevation angle gamma, and uh, the uh, air mass, so let's write this down, this is 14.1 degrees, it gives us an air mass of uh, four. And um, so what we get is that the air mass is one over sinus of this elevation angle. So the larger uh, the elevation angle is, the smaller the air mass is, and the smallest value of course is this one. That is the situation uh, for, for Germany. What you can do is um, you can calculate the average or the mean air mass. Uh, and this is uh, 1.5. So um, the average air mass over one year, um, if we take the mean absorption, this is defined as 1.5. And this is one important value because this will occur later on in this course because this is one parameter of the STC, of the standard testing conditions. So if you want to define lab conditions which represent uh, the real conditions of a PV system stored on a roof or ground mounted, uh, one parameter is the representation of the atmosphere, and that is represented by this air mass value of 1.5. If you have a look at the situation on other locations on Earth, for example, in, in Egypt, um, it's, Egypt is closer to the, to the equator, uh, so the uh, latitude is smaller. This gives us different um, elevation angles, for example, uh, at the 22nd of December, so uh, winter time, uh, the air mass is uh, even larger. So this is for, for Egypt with this gamma. And at the 22nd of December, we have an air mass, even winter time of uh, 1.7. This corresponds to a gamma uh, of 36.6 degrees. And uh, in, in summertime, in first, 21st of June, we have an elevation angle which is close to the uh, uh, perpendicular value of 90 degrees. So this is gamma is uh, 83.5 degrees at the 21st of June. And this is an air mass of 1.01. So this is the situation in red uh, representing uh, Egypt. 
So of course, again, you have to keep in mind what is the location, what is the pathway of, of the sun. We've talked about this in the last videos. And um, then of course, this changes the mean average or the average value of the air mass. Um, under lab conditions, we, we keep to this value of uh, 1.5. Um, as a representation of standard testing conditions. Um, but on different locations, you have different conditions of the air mass.